So you're an iPad owner, whether you have a current gen Pro or a Mini or Air 3 or the last gen Pro 10.5 or 9.7. If you have any interest in the iPad OS beta or public beta, you may be wondering, is it worth it to upgrade now or should you wait for the official version coming next month? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience with the iPad OS public beta with my own iPad Pro 11. I've actually had it since a pretty early version and I'm gonna help you decide whether it's worth it or not to upgrade to the current version of the public beta. But before we continue here, two things. Number one, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the algorithm likes that and will help push my videos to more people. And secondly, here's a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their PDF Element 7 Mac app. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into things here. So the iPadOS beta has been out for a little while now. I upgraded to it when the public beta first rolled out in July when I first purchased my iPad Pro and we've had several iterations and improvements since then. But the real question is, you know, should you upgrade to it now to get the most out of your iPad or iPad Pro or should you wait for the final version coming next month? Before we talk experience now, let's talk about the experience then or in the past. Um, during the first couple betas, I noticed how some apps wouldn't scale correctly. Um, sometimes the resolution would be kind of wonky. It wouldn't be quite, you know, up to scale. It'd be like under res or like not the full resolution. Um, sometimes the orientation would be kind of screwed up. Um, sometimes apps would crash. Like I'd open YouTube and it just freeze up mid, you know, playing a video and then I'd have to like turn off my iPad. So like, you know what I mean? Like, Imagine like, you know, the regular iPhone or iPad crashes you'd get sometimes, you know, once in a while, but these were happening, you know, pretty frequently, frequently enough to be kind of annoying. But even at the time it was fairly functional and that still is the case now. I'm sure there still are some things that are not quite polished and refined as of yet, but the whole time I've had this upgrade, it has been totally usable, you know, like 85% of the time. I mean, there's probably gonna be some apps that might not work if you rely on this device for professional work or whatever you do. But you know, for most common tasks, like, you know, word processing and note taking and whatnot, you should be absolutely fine, especially in time for back to school. And speaking of back to school, PDF Element 7 is an incredibly useful tool for your Mac when it comes to time to do schoolwork and work in general. This application enables you to convert images and text files into PDFs with a few clicks. You can also compile entirely new PDFs by creating a blank. PDF Element 7 also enables you to convert PDF files into a multitude of different file formats. With OCR, you can scan or convert PDFs into editable files as the program will generate editable text. On top of everything mentioned, you can add text boxes, highlight, and annotate multi-page PDF documents, and much more. There's also support for multiple languages as well. Conveniently, right now, Wondershare is having a back-to-school sale. You can get 50% off their PDF Element 7 and PDF Element 7 Pro software packages. And for a limited time only, you can also receive a $5 Amazon gift card if you purchase now. I'll leave a link in the video description for anyone who's interested. So the current version of iPad OS beta, from what I've seen so far, is you know free of a lot of the bugs that I was talking about. I'm sure there are still some things, once again, that need to be figured out, but the UI is scaling just fine. A YouTube opens fine. You know, I haven't had any crashes when I watch YouTube videos on here like I was with previous versions, and my internet sucks down here, so nothing's gonna load. Um, you know, most apps that I use work, you know, Docs, Gmail, the App Store, you know, Keynote, Lightroom, all the important stuff, Safari, if I haven't already mentioned that. Um, but one app that I've noticed does not work even with the current update is Pages. If you're somebody who uses Pages, then I would probably be wary of this, you know, iPad update. Um, LumaFusion works too. So if you're somebody who wants to do, you know, some iPad video editing, then it should be totally fine for you. I've run into zero issues at all with the beta and this program. Note taking apps like GoodNotes, I use this every day to plan out my days. You know, like I have like a planner. I've had zero glitches or issues with this app. So if you're somebody who needs to use like Notability, GoodNotes or any app like that, I wouldn't worry too much and I would just upgrade and you know, benefit from a lot of the great stuff you get with iPadOS. The Files app too has been great. Um, although not all apps are gonna support it as of right now because iPadOS is not an official version yet. You get all the benefits of, you know, the Files app like the downloads folder, access to external storage, etc. Folders too. Multitasking too has not been a problem. As you can see here, I can have two apps open and interact with them all at once. You know, no issues whatsoever. I can also bring up the tab view. I already have a couple apps open here. So I have calendar, I have Safari, so we can flip through those. No problem. Oh, notes too. I forgot I had that. 
In regard to the Apple Pencil, I have had zero issues with it throughout all the beta updates. In fact, it's enhanced by the beta as it has reduced latency, which gives you an even more, you know, buttery user experience. So overall, the current version or beta of iPadOS seems to be okay to upgrade to if you're okay with, you know, an occasional little glitch here or there, a little bit more so than your official version of, of iPad or iOS. Um, if you're somebody who relies on your iPad Pro for professional things, you know, you're making money off of it, and you're not quite sure if an app that you use every single day will be compatible, I would say hold off right now because if you upgrade, it's going to kind of suck having to, you know, revert back to the previous version. So just save yourself some time, wait, and just, you know, accept the fact that using the official version is going to be better for you. But if you're somebody who, you know, uses most of the typical apps, Gmail, iMessage, you know, uh, Docs, Drive, Keynote, whatever, school related stuff, most apps, if not all apps are going to work except pages for some reason. And I have not encountered any major UI glitching so far like I had in previous versions of the beta. So if you want to upgrade, go ahead and upgrade. It's really easy. You can sign up for the public beta, you know, sign into Apple with your Apple ID. You can enroll your device, restart it, install the profile, and you can have the iPad OS beta on your iPad within an hour or two. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. Once again, if you're somebody who is not doing, you know, ultra professional work where you're making a paycheck, you know, day to day with your iPad Pro, go ahead and upgrade to the beta. It's a very great experience and will enhance the overall utility of your device. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.